Hey, all you lit rippers out there. I uh, got a few questions on the lighting of the bird. Uh, so yeah, uh, had a lot of people asking me uh, how the deck lights look along with the lights on the interior and the compartments and stuff. So this is a video to kind of go over uh, both the interior and exterior lights of the uh, Phoenix. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll go over a quick demonstration of how them lights look like. All right, so first things first. Uh, I chose the option of the integrated bow lights. Uh, that was a sharp look at my nose. Sorry about that. I know y'all want to see more of my mug, so uh, here it is. But yeah, the integrated bow lights right there. Your red and your green, you got one on this side and the other on the other side. That's actually an option on the 921 Elite from Phoenix. So, um, Yes, if you get that, you still get the option of sticking the pole up here. Uh, but for me, with everything else you got going on up here, this kind of gets in the way uh, at you know early in the morning when you might not be fully awake or you hadn't had your coffee and my case orange juice or hadn't even made your morning poops. But uh, I, I just chose not that. And the integrated lights again, it was an option uh, that I had to pay for. Uh, but you know, what's a couple hundred spokes? When, when you're spending 80,000, you know, spend a couple hundred more and uh, get something that's gonna not be in the way. The other cool thing about what Phoenix does in regards to their lighting is the anchor light back here on the back. They give you this light that breaks in half. Uh, I'm not sure about everybody else, but around here in East Texas, there's, there's a couple of lakes that got some little bridges and uh, sometimes you gotta drop your power poles down about halfway, you know, get them below the motor cowling and then you can squeeze underneath them. Uh, so what this will allow you to do is literally break your running light in half and uh, allow you to get under that bridge without having to take it all the way out. And so it's pretty slick little light. It's right there and it just clips together. Simple as that. Drop it over and then you bring this top part down Right there, real simple. Yes, I'm doing this one-handed. I am a uh, talented individual. And voila, you have one tall ass running light, as you can see right there. So uh, Phoenix gives this to you as part of the boat package. And, and again, you just stick it in the running hole. Uh, the running hole, you gotta love that. The, the light hole, uh, got holes on the brain for some damn reason. Uh, but nonetheless, Phoenix gives you that Pay for the integrated lights, save you some space up here on the bow uh, for first thing in the morning or at night if you're night fishing or whatever, and uh, don't trip over it. So uh, that's what I chose. Again, it's a couple hundred dollar option. Uh, just get it, be safe, be smart, save you some space. Next, we'll go over to uh, the interior lights and uh, we'll go over the deck lights last. All right, so it's, it's dark enough out here now, uh, as you can kind of tell. Uh, we're going to show you kind of all of these lights here on this bird. Uh, so got the power on in the battery box. You got to turn the master switch on here at the console. This is one thing I wish Phoenix would do better is at night you can't really tell what them switches are. Uh, so I've seen other people uh, put, you know, little LED lights or something to kind of shine down on there to help read what these are, but they just don't, they don't backlight. So we're going to do all of the navigation lights here real quick. Right there, you can see that's a bright LED on that pole for the back. And then up front, uh, well, let me turn the up front ones on first. <laughs> uh, that was just the anchor light. So now you see where the console is lit up. You can see the gauges, okay? They're backlit. And up front, you have your red it's, and, and your green. Obviously, the green is very bright right there. And your red is very bright right there. Uh, so you're, you're legal. Uh, again, you know, back there to the front, bow to the stern. Uh, you can see this boat pretty good. But what I'm fixing to show you now is how bright this dude is when you turn on all the courtesy lights and what all they cover. So y'all stay tuned for that. Hang on. We're going to get to it. Okay, so right now, 
I've only turned on the courtesy lights along with the running lights. You don't see anything lit up. Well, I'll show you what it looks like when you open these compartments. Check that out. That's pretty bright. So here in this center, you got two LEDs, one on each side. Sorry for all the camera movement. And then you even got a snake light that comes out. You can turn it on and then snake light, whatever you need to see inside or outside the boat. They also have a red lens for that in case you wish to do uh, a red light. And uh, uh, doesn't hurt your eyes as bad in the middle, you know, of the nighttime when you're out here prepping first thing in the morning for a tournament or, or whatever. Uh, everybody kind of wants to see a, a rod storage shot. And again, one nice LED light there under, and that's enough light for me to see it. Uh, but then again, again, you have the uh, snake light to help you out. And then over here, there's no light in the day box until you go underneath your tray. And then you can see it's really bright down in there. And then in this storage box, well, everybody knows what a lip storage box looks like. Let me close this down here real quick. Slam latches. Have I told you this boat has slam latches? Yes, it does. It has slam latches. And again, you can see uh, the light down in there in that storage. So. Here's another cool thing to me is you have another secondary switch for the courtesy lights. And I know you can't really see me, but I'm fixing to remedy that. Welcome to the red lights. <laughs> now you have red lights all inside of the sitting area or console area where you can do and see anything you really need to see that's on the floor right it's very bright and uh, it doesn't hurt my eyes after the fact so I can walk around do what I need to do in the red light and then just to show you a live well is even lit up so if you're crappie fishing or whatever at night uh, you can see down in there and then you can see in your rear storage compartment uh, just the same so plenty of light uh, in regards to that. You even get lights back here in your battery compartment. You take your trays out. And again, you can see anything you need to see from that point of view. Let me close this light wheel. Slam latches. There they are again. And look at all the light. Plenty of light to see what you need to see from that point of view. Now, here is a feature that I paid for. Again, I'm just slamming everything closed, because why? This boat has slam latches, right? Now, I paid for additional deck lighting, and I'm gonna get them to come on. So, here you can see I have deck lights, three nice LEDs up front and they'll change colors to whatever color palette you want them to be. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it's pretty bright. I'm gonna turn these red lights off and you can see that lights up the whole front deck. This was an option. I did pay for it. It was not part of the boat, uh, but there's the purple. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, but again, at nighttime, more light, the better. Uh, you don't want to be in the lake and getting hit uh, because somebody couldn't see you. So uh, more lights are better at night is my opinion. So that's how this boat's kind of lit up. All right, lip rippers. Uh, for all those who are interested in the Phoenix uh, 921 Elite, that's how that thing gets lit up. As you can see, uh, it's pretty bright in every compartment and uh, the options for the deck lighting to me are well worth it. Again, you can change that to any color and adjust the brightness on any color on those six deck lights. So your live wheels lit up 
All compartments are lit up. You got the red lights there on the external for the console sitting area. Um, I got the integrated bow lights. Phoenix gives you that break over stern light uh, that's LED based. So to me, that's pretty awesome of them to do such. And uh, just be safe. Uh, again, if you're rigging up, um, you need all that light <laughs> uh, to tie those hooks and get those knots right. And last but not least, that little snake light, again, has a little red slide that you, a little red lens that you can put in there. And uh, again, keep from uh, getting night vision uh, impairment on your eyes by using the red lens. So uh, good job, Phoenix, on all of that. I uh, hope you guys, uh, hope this answers your question for all those that needed some uh, guidance on how deck lights and the options were on the Phoenix boat. So thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Y'all be safe out there. Go rip some lips.